Sometimes we think that when we're super tired, what we really need is rest. And sometimes that is absolutely true. But what if what we really need is passion? We are wired for progress and wired to move forward powerfully in something that we're passionate about. We get physically tired, but what I'm talking about is soul tired. Soul tired, which is the thing that keeps us uh, back and keeps us maybe even lethargic or depressed or sad. Passion isn't just an emotion. That's definitely part of it, but it's also taking action. The word passion comes from the root word to suffer. There is a weird paradoxical connection between that excitement and suffering. So what if the new question is, what am I passionate about that would be worth suffering for? When you look at stepping into your passion, it's probably going to require some work that will occur to you as suffering. Uh, maybe it means looking into finding the right childcare that you need, or maybe it means getting your commitments done in the evening instead of watching Netflix, or maybe it's a stepping out of your comfort zone into some major growth that's completely scary to you. So here are some practical steps for you to move forward towards getting clear on what you're passionate about. Number one, make a list of complaints. Go to town, 20, 30, 40, 50, be specific, dig deep, make a nice robust list. Number two, what do you notice? Do you see any patterns? Get clear on what the patterns are in those complaints. Number three, what are the visions or passions that exist within the complaints? Uh, what do you see that is an opportunity to create something the way you want it to be? Number four, what of those visions and passions would be worth suffering for? And now here's the next level if you're up for the game. Share with someone what you're passionate about. Maybe a mops leader, a friend or two, a mentor, a family member, and then take one next step, one action to move forward in this passion and in this vision. And notice what begins to shift for you. Notice the emotion and the energy and the joy. Sometimes we feel like we need permission to step into our passion. I wonder how much good in the world doesn't get created because we choose to stay comfortable in our soul lethargy. One of my favorite promises in scripture is Ephesians 2.10. For you are God's masterpiece. He has created you anew in Christ Jesus to do the good things that he has planned for you long ago. I wonder what those things are for you. You have full permission from him, from me, from those around you to step into living that passion out. It is absolutely worth it.